Speaker, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Crier, what was that job? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. That's horrible. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Um, courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. And um, Butcher, how did he get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Yeah. Uh, dude, it's alive. But escort? Like armored guard or... Escort? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was <sighs> packing a whole different kind of heat. No. Escort just sounds better than man whore. So you got paid for sex? Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. I would never quit. Go for hire. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Good. Let's talk about something else. All right. But. Nope. Bandana. You have entered a restricted area. You have been warned. Starting out of this day. Watch out! Hello? Submit to a credit check. Or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Uh, goodbye. Please be so. A five? Submit to a credit check. Robot, let me pass. Please submit. <sighs> yeah, I get I get two thousand, but Have I don't. A nice day. Submit to a credit check. Please. Thank so did that cost me two thousand? Nope. What the hell am I hearing? Oh well. I'm going insane. Mm -hmm, yeah. Howdy, partner! You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Uh, 
Uh, uh, what are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Uh, okay. Uh, why is the robot passing on his invitation? Yeah, that's... Well, now, it was Mr. House that made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dawdle. He'll be waiting. Okay, but first... Keep moving. Oh, whoa. Oh, last five shots were a bad idea. Hey, baby. There's more of this waiting for you in... Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. <laughs> Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Let me see what you have. Take eh, I got enough money. Inside. Why do they call it Mario? It's a train. You know, I like what I see. <sighs> Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Okay. You'll get these. You know what, guys? I'll be right back. I'm gonna sell some. I'm gonna win some crap. And I mean. Hello. Okay, that's that. No more games for you. Go rob the tops. You're done here. Have some drinks, talk to some dancers, but you are done at my tables. Aww. Find yourself a girl or a guy. Have some fun. I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. Gamora is always open for business. If you want to learn about death, I went in. I saved before doing it because, well, I had 8800 and I went towards it, pressed it, won. Welcome to Gamora. How? Money. Caps. And I got banned. Oh, and I only got fourteen thousand. I got kicked out of Ultralux the other day. Man, that place gives me the fucking creeps. Hello. Hello, and welcome to. Mm, good around. I sure do, but loose lips <laughs> sink ships. Don't worry about me. I can keep your secrets. All right. You look pretty trustworthy. Hmm. Can you tell me about what's going on around this trip? Not much of a rumor, but I hear the Tops is always looking for new talent. Lord knows they've needed it for a long time. Okay, bye. Man. Fiends are bad for business. NCR should do the fucking job. Do I get my stuff back? Oh crap, crap. I blame this. <laughs> but
Okay, that's... Ah, uh, not yet. That should keep the powder... Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? No, I haven't. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. You lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. What business did you have here at the hotel? That's between me and the White Glove Society. But let's just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. Uh, did you say anything about a white glove? That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. I don't talk to none of the other ones. Um... I want to do this, but let me help you find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Money? Money! Money, 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 money. I like me some money. Quest. Quest. Beyond the beef. I've heard you have to make reservations at the have Gorman years Have you been inside our bathhouse? The salts in the water were... What can I get you? Uh, nothing. Bye. To balance the bodily humors. and ask why we wear our masks. I'm, we have you been inside speaking. our bathhouse? The salts in the water work to balance the body. Hmm. Did you see Heck Gunderson, the I Brahmin the Baron of the bar? It's like being at a he may be a wayfinder, but his taste is clearly different. Evening. Good evening. How may I be of service, sir? Uh, what can you tell me about your organization? My, such a popular question. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course. But our pedigree was established over generations. Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. And that's what the White Glove Society is all about. Hmm, do you have any work that you need to be... That needs to be done? No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better look elsewhere. Bye. Ass. Come on. <laughs> 